In the late 1800s, when Father Edward Soren walked the grounds of Notre Dame, he discouraged any formal celebration of his birthday. Instead, he allowed a day of prayer and festivities on October 13th, the feast of his patron saint, King Edward the Confessor. This became Founder's Day at the University of Notre Dame. They canceled classes, they had a picnic, athletic events, academic events, many of which Father Soren presided over. In years past, on the eve of the feast, the bells of Sacred Heart Church pealed in tribute, and the entire student body processed with Father Soren to Washington Hall for an evening of music and theater. Afterwards, students emerged to a campus decorated with Chinese paper lanterns and the night sky ablaze with fireworks. In later years, the ceremony of laying a wreath at the foot of his statue became a Founder's Day ritual and another opportunity to reflect on Father Soren's leadership and fortitude during the university's humble beginnings. The season in which we came, a long and severe winter of five months of constant snow, multiplied not a little our trials. Sometimes we found our beds in the morning covered with snow. Our little community was never so edifying. Our dear brothers, of whom only one remains, had to suffer God alone knows in how many ways being obliged to take their night's rest on the bare floor. And yet, not a word of complaint. God's holy will was their comfort, the unfailing source of consolation and joy. What Soren saw was the future of Catholic education in America and a place that could be a tremendous force for good in the world. Father Soren immediately saw a vision laid out before him in which Mary, the Mother of God, would inspire young people and teachers to join together in an amazing endeavor. Many of the traditions of Founders Day have faded from practice, and others, like the fireworks and picnics, now mark the beginning of each academic year. But the event Father Edward Soren would find most significant is still held, Holy Mass at his beloved Sacred Heart honoring a man and his band of six Holy Cross brothers who began with a log building on two lakes and built what would become one of the nation's leading universities. <laughs>